Hello, welcome to another video tutorial on Python programming basics and today we will see lists. So what is list? List is a sequencing structure in Python. It is a sequence of elements of different data types or I should say any data type okay let's see an example so we have uh, we we have a list a and I say there is nothing inside the square brackets so this is an example of empty list a list can have zero or or multiple elements within within it so this is an example of empty list where i am not defining any element inside this square bracket instead i'm just leaving it as empty so it's an empty list let's go ahead and and print a let me comment this otherwise we'll get an error okay okay so we get nothing it's just empty now uh, I, I mentioned it can be of any data type that means it can be numeric it can be character or a logical data type let's see example ball underscore position I define it as 10 comma 20 so this is an example where we have within our list we have two elements the first one is 10 and the second element is 20 and this is basically a, a numeric values let's go ahead and print ball underscore position ball underscore position okay we see that we in the output we have two elements 10 and 20 and it's a list we'll take another example uh, this time we will use uh, characters and so we will have a b c maybe hello and let's also consider logical data types and so I will also have true and false wow so many elements in this print c okay okay so in the output we have a b c hello and also the logical data types which is true and false now i want to access the elements within this list how to do that good question in order to traverse or access these elements within the list we need to know something which is called indexing and indexing is nothing but basically um, the position um, the way it works is inside the memory these elements are located they have a location it's it's similar to I'm living in a house and and it has an address so similarly um, element a is having an index and what is the index of a in index of a is zero okay and so the next element would be incremental so a is having index zero b will have index one and so on so a is zero b is one c will have index 2, hello will have index 3, true will have index 4, false will have index 5. Now there is an interesting thing here we can also access false with an index of minus 1. So well as I said it's incrementing we can we can increment the index and, and reach to false at index of 5 
we we also have option to uh, use the index minus one for false and just say c of minus one and we can get false directly now if this is minus one we can also say minus two and reach to for uh, get true so we can get to true with the index of minus two and so on hello can be uh, can be retrieved by minus three so this is basically indexing it's uh, it's the concept of uh, you know addressing and in order to reach a, a particular element within the list we we just need to uh, reach to its index and retrieve the value that's how we we access the element let's let's see with an example so i will say print c of 0 c of 1 c of 2 C of minus one, C of minus two. Let's see what happens. Okay, we see C of zero is A, C of one is B, C of two is C, C of minus one should have been false and we get it, C of minus two is true. Always remember that the index starts with zero. That's the that's very important thing to understand okay so i think we are good with indexing we we have the list we are able to access the elements of list with um with uh, indexing now let's move on and talk about other features of the list okay so now we will see an example of a list inside another list and for this let us have this as an example where we have a list c and inside this list c we have another list ball position which we defined here okay let us see what does print c do okay so we see now that at the end we have one element which is nothing but ball underscore position 10 comma 2 and i want to reach to this element now and to reach that we know that we we can reach to the last element by having minus one index but actually i want the uh, i want to reach to the last element but actually i am interested in getting 10 out of this entire list how to do so so i reach to ball position by giving minus one and in ball position we have uh, how can we reach 10 in ball position the 10 is at 10 is at 0 index so I would say C minus 1 to reach to ball position and then I will say 0 so this should give me 10 let's see okay so we now have 10 we extracted 10 out of this list by by first reaching to the list within um, within C which is ball position and then traversing to the element which we want so this is how we do list inside another list we can also extract the elements from the list using colon so what i mean is just imagine if i want to extract a and b i can say print c 0 colon 2 and so it will start with index 0 and go to n minus 1 in this case n is 2 so it will go till 1 0 and 1 so let's see what gets printed we see that it it gives us a and b remember it will not give us c it will just go to n minus 1 another way of uh, uh, creating list is by using something called range function and so if i want the sequence of numbers 0 1 2 3 like that i can give um, 0 comma 5 and it will give me a range of values 0 1 2 3 4 again it will not give me 5 it's n minus 1 so it will give 0 1 2 3 4 oops print d okay so we have a list 0 1 2 3 4 and we used a function called range function and next let us look at the mutation 
and aliasing effect in list so what is mutation and what is aliasing in list mutation says that in a list we can change the element or modify it so if i uh, if i want to change a or element b or element c or any element within a list i can do so unlike other data structures in python where we don't have the concept of um, mutation so if you see here i i am changing uh, i have two lists here list 1 and list 2 list 1 is defined uh, uh, with three elements a b and c and list 2 is uh, just a list where i am assigning um, list 1 to list 2 and then I'm changing the content of list to the last element to something else which is Z and so this assignment uh, changing the value of list sorry changing the value of elements within the list is mutation and what is alias uh, aliasing aliasing is basically uh, assigning a list to another list and this is very important uh, concept uh, and let me explain what is happening here is it's it's uh, to explain this let's consider an example where uh, people know me uh, by different names now if if I'm undergoing some kind of change or um, I change my location just imagine or, or or I change my school so even though I have different names ultimately I'm 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 undergoing change so if a person knows me by name one or or other person knows knows me by name two ultimately the change will be across it's 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 a change in me it doesn't matter what's the name so same is the concept here if i am if i assign list one to list two that means if i am making changes to list two it will have its effect in list one as well because it's pointing list 2 is pointing to the same list list 1 and list 1 is same as list 2 it's just um, a aliasing effect where both both list 1 and list 2 are um, alias of each other and so if I change something any element in list 2 we will see the effect in list 1 and if I change anything in list 1 the the effect will be in list two as well and so here is an example and let's see what's the outcome so you see first of all we had list one with a b c as the element we assigned list one as list two so just imagine if if i comment this the and try to print list one and list two it should have a b c okay so we see the list is a b c list one and list two both now I'm changing list to the last element instead of C I want it to be Z and so I actually changed list 2 but since list 2 and list 1 are uh, alias of each other if I change list 2 list 1 will also have its effect so now we see that list we change the last element of list 2 and list 1 is also um, same 